Hi everyone. Really excited to show you the inner workings of a gray water system today. We're going to start with the dual plumbing. Uh, we're underneath a master bathroom in Laurel Canyon and we've got a shower up here. We have two lav sinks and we have a bathtub right here. They're all combined into this two inch line which used to go here into the three inch sewer line uh, but we just cut and capped it and ran these fixtures into a new dedicated line which runs right along the sewer this way down towards our tank. So this is just the showers and the sinks. It comes into our diverter right here. This is what the switch controls. Um, and it sends the incoming water either just back to the sewer like this or into our gray water tank. Uh, this is where it enters the tank um, from the fixtures that we mentioned before. Right here, we have an emergency overflow back to sewer. That's in case uh, the pump burns out or the power goes out, uh, then the water will just flow right back into our sewer, no problem. Um, down in there, we have our pump. It's the green Zoller pump. This is a float switch that turns the system on and off. Uh, when the water gets up to about this level, that float switch will click on automatically. Um, and we also have a vent here. Um, that's so that when the water is pumping out, it doesn't create a vacuum inside the tank. It lets air in to fill that space. One more really cool feature that's unique to this system is that all of the irrigation is downhill. This pump only needs to click on for a second and then we can turn the pump back off and the water continues to siphon because all of the irrigation is downhill. So for our next step, we'll go out and take a look at what that looks like in the landscape. 